Today, we're talking all about stringer boards. And if you don't know what that is, stick around and find out. What's up guys? I'm TK with PRX Performance, adding more value to your home gym through different tips, tricks, and home gym hacks. Today, we're talking about stringer boards. Stringer boards are the wooden pieces behind me that help you mount your rack in different spaces. At PRX Performance, one of the things we're most proud of are fitting gyms into tight spaces. And in my situation, stringer boards helped me center this rack on the wall behind me. I don't necessarily have the most space to work with. And if we would have mounted this on the studs, then it would have been a little crooked or it just wouldn't have looked the way that I wanted it to look. What we did was took two stringer boards and attached them to five studs, which allowed us to center our rack. Before we go any further, let's break down stringer boards just a little bit more. To put it simply, a stringer board is a piece of wood that you use to tie a whole bunch of studs together. So in my case, we used five studs we recommend a two by six wooden plank. This is gonna make it plenty sturdy and give you plenty of real estate to install your wall brackets. The idea with the stringer board is that you use five inch screws, drive that stringer board into your studs, and then from there, I can mount my wall brackets anywhere on the stringer board. So it's perfect for that situation where you might have odd space studs or your studs are 24 inches on center or you just wanna center your rack in a tight space, which I've got right here. There's a lot of different ways you can incorporate stringer boards. We've seen gyms where uh, it's more about the aesthetic and they're getting different planks, or we've seen gyms where you use a two by four and you paint it the same color as your wall because you wanna hide it. Uh, in my case, I kinda of like the contrast on the white and gray, so the wood really looks good there. But again, a two by six is recommended, two by fours work, you just want a really sturdy mounting point because again, the stringer board goes to the studs and then your rack mounts to the stringer board. So if you're questioning whether or not you need a stringer board, if your studs are 16 inches on center and you like where that rack is gonna sit when you start to mock it up, you don't have to have one. It's not going to make it any stronger or you know less strong compared to a situation where you don't use a stringer board. If you've got cement or brick walls and you don't wanna install into the brick, then just mount that stringer board across so then you can mount your rack to the wooden stringer boards. If you're a person who has odd space studs or you're trying to center your rack, you're going to wanna to use a stringer board. So don't fear the install, it's the same thing. If you can find studs and put screws into the wall, you can do it. And then from there, once you get your stringer boards mounted up, you just install your rack, follow the instructions, and you'll be lifting in no time. Keep unfolding your rack and keep sweating and we'll see you in the next one.